Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the surface area of pyramids and cones. As we're looking at pyramids, remember that our pyramids are going to have some sort of base figure that's a polygon. So that could be a triangle, a square, a regular polygon. That base could really be any figure, but the other sides or the other faces of our pyramid are all triangles. Now there's a few vocab words that we're going to go over. The first one is going to be an altitude, which is essentially just the height of the pyramid. And the altitude or this height runs perpendicularly from the base up to the top vertex of our triangle. There's another kind of height that we're going to deal with as we're finding surface area, and that's called the slant height. And the slant height runs from the top vertex perpendicular down to one of the edges of our base polygon. So as we're looking at finding the surface area of our pyramid, a lot like we did with prisms and cylinders, the first thing that we're going to find is the area of the base, so that capital B value. But we're going to add some extra stuff onto the end of that. What we're going to add is 1 half times the perimeter of the base times what the slant height is. So as we're looking at this first example, we've got a square pyramid with side lengths of six going around the bottom of that base. And we're also given the slant height. That's the 13 that runs from the top vertex perpendicular down to one of the bases. So as we're looking at finding the surface area, let's first start off by finding the area of the base. Now we said it's a square and all the side lengths are six. So in order to find that area, we're gonna take length times width or base times height, however you wanna think about it. Either way, we're doing six times six. So we end up with an area of the base to be 36. Now if we're looking at the perimeter of the base, this is a square, so it's got four sides. All the sides are six centimeters long. So if we add that up, six plus six plus six plus six, we end up with a perimeter of 24 for that square. And then if we look at our slant height, that's the 13 that's given to us. So if we wanna set up our formula, we're just gonna start plugging these values in. So we'd go 36 because that's the area of our base plus one half times the perimeter, which is 24, times the slant height, which is 13. Now if we look at simplifying this down, half of 24 is 12, and 12 times 13 is 156. So we have 36 plus 156, so when we add those together, we end up getting 192. Now we should label this, our measurements were given to us in centimeters, so this will also be centimeters, and since it's an area, it gets a squared label on it. So 192 centimeters squared as the area of our pyramid. Taking a look at our next example, we've got a triangular pyramid with an equilateral triangle as its base, so all the sides of that triangle on the bottom are exactly the same length. We're gonna find the surface area of this pyramid again, so we're gonna start off by finding the area of the base. Since we're looking at a triangle as the base, we need to do one half times the base times the height. And remember, as we're looking at the base and the height, the base and the height have to make a right angle in the picture. So as we're looking at this picture, we're looking at the 12 and the 15 as our base and the height of the triangle. So if we do half of 12, that's six, and then six times 15 is 90. So the area of the base is 90. Now we need the perimeter of the base, Perimeter, we add up all the sides. I mentioned that this is an equilateral triangle, so all the sides are the same length. So we've got 15 plus 15 plus 15. So the perimeter is 45. And then we're also given the slant height. The slant height is the 18 length that's running perpendicular from the vertex down to the base. So if we're looking at plugging these into our formula, we're gonna take the area of the base, which is 90, plus 1 half times the perimeter, which we said was 45, times the slant height, which is 18. If we do the 1 half times the 45 times the 18, we get 405, so we've got 90 plus 405. So if we add those together, we get 495. Now we should throw a label on here. All of our measurements are given to us in feet, so this is going to be feet squared since we're dealing with an area. Last thing we're going to talk about is finding the surface area of a cone. So right now our surface area formula is up there for a pyramid, and cones are very similar to pyramid, except our base figures are circles. 
So I'm going to make one change in the formula. Circles don't really have perimeters. Instead of talking about the perimeter of a circle, we always talk about the circumference of a circle. So our surface area formula is the area of the base plus one half times the circumference times the slant height. So as we look at this example, we've got a cone with a radius of 6 centimeters and the slant height is 13. So we're first going to find the area of the base. Remember, since we're dealing with a circle, the area of the base is pi r squared. So we're going to take pi times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36, and 36 times pi, we get about 113.1. Now as far as the circumference of our circle, to do the circumference, we do 2 times the radius times pi, so 2 times 6 is 12, 12 times pi we get about 37.7, and then we already know what our slant height is, that's the 13. So if we set up our formula, we've got 113.1 plus 1 half times the circumference, which we said was 37.7, times the slant height, which is 13. Now if we do the 1 half times the 37.7 times the 13, we end up getting 245.05. So we're going to take that 113.1 and add those two values together. And when we do that, we get about 358.15. Now we do need to throw a label on this. Our measurements were given to us in centimeters. So this is going to be centimeters squared. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.